Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flights in 2020 where I'm going to continue my flight along the southeastern coast of Australia flying from Sydney to Melbourne in the India Fox Teco F-35B taking a look at the sites added by the newest world update. And so this is the flight path here and we're going to hit a few things along the way though. Obviously we can't hit everything. Uh, some of it is quite a bit out of our way even though I'd like to hit Parks Observatory for instance. Uh, but Waragamba Dam is there. Uh, we're gonna see this airport. It's a handcrafted airport, so we'll see how well they did that. The big, big Merino. I have no idea what that is. Probably, a I don't know. It's in the middle of nowhere. It can't be a stadium, right? Uh, Telstra Tower in Canberra, and also the Deep Space Communication Complex, important to us space peoples, and another handcrafted airport, Mount Beauty Airport there, and then the Phillip Island Grand Prix circuit. The Split Point Lighthouse. There are a few lighthouses that were missing. There's like one right here, Wilson's Promontory Lighthouse, and a few others along the coast like that. And so there's uh, some prominent lighthouses. Uh, we are also not going to go for the Twelve Apostles or Bay of Islands because that was a little bit far out of the way. And then we head, head into Melbourne and into the airport. So, yep, uh, flight conditions are probably... Not great, uh, at least at Sydney. It looks like there's lots of clouds. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, mostly we'll take a look at Melbourne because we already saw Sydney in the previous flight somewhat. Whoa, that's quite a lot more dire than I was expecting. Ooh, that somehow messes up the HUD. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, good thing there's backup down here. Uh, this is not going to be good for sightseeing, as much as I like the rain on the window. Um, alright. Yeah, let's make it a little bit calmer here. A uh, few clouds. I've got an airliner in front of me. Well, we know what to do about that, don't we? Aha! Thought you would get in my way, did you? Hey, you know what? Uh, we did Sydney at slow speed last time. I think I'll go ahead and... Ooh, parking brake. Uh, we'll just fly by Sydney at full speed this time. I think in the previous video I was using my previous computer if I recall correctly, so performance should be a lot better. Okay, Sydney at high speed now. Now we're having some fun. <laughs> Though I, I don't know how well the photogrammetry will keep up. Eh, it's doing okay. Okay. Oh, Gladsville Bridge was over there. I didn't even see it. Okay, Gladsville Bridge is this one over here. Pretty plain on the top, and there's some trucks going in a weird way there. I only like suspension bridges. Oh, uh, is that the stadium over there? Just saying the GPS points is always a little bit off. Yeah, I think that's Stadium Australia. Alright. The map is taking forever. Even more so than usual. Okay, so after that is Waragamba Dam is what we're looking for here. Is that one? Is that? Yeah, okay, now it's rendering properly. It just wasn't rendering very well there. Okay, um, I don't think I need to get into a hover for this. We sort of see the thing. It's got some Z fighting going on there, though. Uh, it's still fixing itself. Oh, huh? no. Uh, okay, maybe I'm going too fast to really get a handle on it, though. So I think I'll... Oh, there's a little thing there. Uh, Alright, hold on. I want to get a better look at it. 
I was gonna say uh, we need to expedite a little bit more compared to last time, but shoot. Okay, I'm going very slowly. You better fix yourself uh, as good as you can make yourself. Uh, whatever detail level is at right now ain't great. This particular detail level. Okay, now, now, okay, now it's looking a little bit better. This is this is more like it. But that sort of middle detail level was not great. Okay, Waragam Gamba Dam. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we're going to YSHL that first handcrafted airport. Well, I think I see the airport. Why did they make a point of it on the map? Let's see. Well, it seems to have some custom buildings here. I don't know. It's got a really large Qantas 747 there. Uh, all right, we'll give it the hover treatment. Ars Museum. I guess there must be an aviation museum. Yeah, there's a ladder by the Qantas 747. And they've got these sort of hangers here. So I guess this is all custom. Interesting airport to choose for that. The Big Marino. Well, it better not be another bit of produce. That's all I have to say. Okay, well, we are about to find out what the big merino is, hopefully. No, it's not this track thing, I don't think. Whatever it is, it isn't big enough. Is it this... the buildings here? I don't know. I... Uh, well, we were right over it, and I don't know what it is. Hmm... Alright, well, we're going into hover mode again. Okay, well, here comes the big merino again. Australians might have to explain this one to me. And it is this big building here, but it looks pretty generic. Uh, clearly it's not the big merino. It's not there yet. The building in front... I guess? Oh no, it's this... Gosh. Okay, we see it now. I don't know what it is. A sheep? A really big sheep? Okay. There's some weird stuff <laughs> that passes for monuments around here. Okay. Alright. Uh, we have discovered what the big merino is. I sure as heck wasn't going to see it coming from the other direction. Up we go again. Big Merino. Well, at least I think it's reasonable to assume that Telstra Tower is going to be easy to spot, right? <laughs> this is not going to be a difficult one. I feel like some other buildings might have been useful around here too. Anyway, uh, Telstra Tower is, I guess, that. Yep. Alright. Nice radio tower sort of thing. Speaking of which, uh, you know, the Deep Space Network next. 
Just cruising right along again. Okay, whereabouts is it? I guess it'll be higher up rather than lower down. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh, I see some dishes. Yep, this is the Deep Space Communication Complex. essential dishes for communicating with our deep space missions. YMBT is Mount Beauty Airport. A base for general aviation gliding, ultralight, and model aircraft flying. I think we might try and land at this Mount Beauty Airport to pick up some fuel though. Judging from its description, I'm not sure it would normally fuel something like this, but hey, we whatever size it is, we can land at it, that's for sure. Okay, time to descend into Mount Beauty Airport. Well, you know what time it is. It's hover time. YMBT. There you go. It says so right on the runway. Mount Beauty Airport. Got solar panels in some of the buildings. Well, probably gonna be a directly vertical landing, is it? <laughs> Can't even see the HUD numbers. It's weird how it goes. Okay, well, we've landed somewhere. All right, all right. Okay, well, let me just put the parking brake on. Demand the fuel. Give me all your fuel. Wow. For a sec there, it was like negative a few million. I don't know what that was about. Okay. We have totally fueled up. Alright. On to Melbourne. Just a quick little view en route as we make our way down to Melbourne. So we're headed to Phillip Island Grand Prix Circuit. We're sort of beside the bay that Melbourne is at the top of. Well, I can certainly see the circuit here. Okay, quick flyby of the Grand Prix circuit here. No problems with it. Of course, I am not familiar with this particular circuit, but... Seems like a Grand Prix circuit to me. Next up, we're going across the mouth of the bay to Split Point Lighthouse. Oh, I see some likely rocks there. Oh no, I think I see the lighthouse now. Looks like a fairly standard looking lighthouse. They've done some work on the rocks in front of it though. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, yeah, it's sort of plain looking. Got a nice little dome on top of it, though. Alright, well, I don't think I need a closer look at that. Alright, onward. Okay, we are approaching Melbourne. Let us see what we can see here. There's some stuff in the bay in front there. I think that's just a ship. Those ships look like they might be in trouble. There's a cruise ship and a tanker ship and they're awful close to each other. I, I'm pretty sure that's not a good positioning for them. So this point Gillibrand here, I don't know what we're supposed to be looking at there. Just the harbor facilities or is there something in particular? Well, no, I guess it's just these buildings here. I don't see any really tiny monument or anything. I think. Wait, there's a weird floaty thing. I think it's like a messed up tree or something. Or maybe it's like a telephone pole or... power thing. That's weird. Programmetry, though, you know, sometimes does weird things. Well, there is the port facilities. Those are looking pretty good. Alright, let's uh, get rid of the map and just take a look around here. We won't go for any... The city is full of sights, after all, so we'll just take a look and see what we see. I can see some suspension bridges. Yeah, there's a lot of floaty bits on the... on the photogrammetry around here. They really didn't clean that up, did they? You know, maybe clean up the photogrammetry. I think I'm going slow enough that it should render everything that actually is gonna be here. Yeah, there's a lot of floating things. Well, I guess that's what I'm here to check out, huh? Yeah, look at the top of this smokestack. There's uh, sort of a mess there. Yeah, more messes. This bridge looks good, though. This is probably a handcrafted thing instead of just random photogrammetry, but you know, they really can't rely on photogrammetry for everything. Clean some of it up. There's another nice bridge over there. Okay, so this is another bridge. I don't know if I can call it a suspension bridge. I don't see any suspension. It's just got those two towers. Must be doing something, right? Right? I don't see any suspension, actually. Okay, cruising right along here. Can we read the name of that stadium? Marvel Stadium, as a matter of fact. Marvel Stadium. Okay. Simple enough. Some handcrafted buildings that are crisp and a bunch of photogrammetry buildings that are not. Sort of a rich mix of the two here. Oh, there's another... Oh, there's a whole sports complex here. Nice chateau over there. Okay, well, oh, that's an interesting one. That the, the, the bubbliness of that one is very interesting. This looks like Olympic scale sorts of stuff here.
right next to the railroad there. There's a very spiky building over here, but that's photogrammetry. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Probably deserves a better rendition. And cathedral. Okay, well, I'll just follow the GPS here now. Some things looking good, other things not looking good. A cone-shaped building right there. Well, let's not go this way. Alright. Continuing on. Interesting streaks on this building in front of us here. I guess we're just following this road now. Interesting structure over the roadway here. And also in that pond over there. A feeling that's not being done quite properly. This building here though. There's something else over here. Maybe, maybe not. That's a fancy building to the right there. Oh, it looks sort of like circusy, like circus tents. Nice field. No, I imagine that is it right there. Raceway, maybe? Albion Viaduct next. Okay, I think I see the viaduct up ahead now. Yep. That seems like a viaduct to me. Alright, on to the landing at the airport. Just going for the short landing option here. Gently, gently. All right. The steering is quite a bit different in the VTOL mode. All right. I, I forget. Is there supposed to be special buildings at uh, Melbourne Airport? I thought it was a uh, handcrafted airport. It looks pretty bare though, so maybe not. We did have two handcrafted airports along the way, but they were smallish ones. Tougher to do the bigger terminals, I feel. There is the tower over there. Pretty empty around here right now. Anyway, so that has been our sightseeing tour from Sydney to Melbourne. And with this flight of the India Fox Teco F-35B, hopefully stopping in time here. Alright, I'll just, I'll just park it here for now. So with this I'll say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.